uh, this airplane, uh, because of its hull structure, the uh, airplane can uh, handle a lot more weight than most airplanes because it doesn't have pontoons underneath it. It was just like, so as a result, uh, this can, can carry roughly 1,200 pounds uh, worth of uh, cargo and people. Uh, and that's with a uh, full tank of gas uh, to boot. It carries four people and you can even carry five if you're willing to take the uh, wheels off and just stay in the water. The uh, instrumentation of this thing is, is that it uses very simple instruments. You know, we don't use it, at least I didn't use, a lot of uh, electronic, uh, what they call FADEC instrumentation that are on more modern airplanes today. You got it, I kept it simple for the simple reason that these airplanes are going to see water <laughs> and water can really affect your instrumentation if you're, you know, if everything is not working for you just right. So it's like, uh, you got to make sure that, uh, you know, the simple stuff works just as good as the advanced stuff without the shorting of wires and all that other uh, business that goes into that. That works great in airplanes that don't land on the water. So it's like, uh, you never know what's going to happen. Uh, this one also doesn't come because of the engine. Usually you have a third knob that uh, basically uh, monitors your fuel uh, into the engine. And whether it's rich enough or lean enough to be able to go or do anything, the engine does it automatically in this computer through a computer system that sits in the back of the airplane. And so as a result, uh, you don't need to have to do it manually. The engine does it automatically for itself. And it's like, this adjusts the pitch of your prop. And uh, actually this has the capability of going in reverse. So it's like uh, you uh, work with this lever here to go backwards. If you uh, intend to do that, and it was like, uh, and uh, this control here, adjust your trim uh, and it only needs like a, a rotation or two to be able to make it uh, okay easy to fly and it's for it's a very stable and docile aircraft in the air and uh, what's unusual about this is also is that the hydraulic system uses one little tank and uh, this this handle is the power that runs the hydraulic pump and allows you to bring the gear up and down and move the flaps up and down by just simply making a few changes to the switches. Like the flaps would go down here, the flaps go up back here. So it's a uh, very uh, simple, elegant design that lasts forever and ever. So, so that's what you're looking for in aviation.